guys, so here is episode two of my coloring series. I have already pre-stamped my image on some Spectrum Noir cardstock and I used Memento ink. I will have all the colors listed below and they are listed on the sheet and I will show them on the screen. And once again, just a disclaimer, I am not a pro whatsoever. I'm just making these videos for beginners for color combinations, not techniques because I don't know what I'm doing. So be kind in your comments. If you have any tips, absolutely, uh, you know, leave them for me and the people that view the videos. Um, I just thought this would be nice for beginners to have a quick reference for color combinations that may work. So I am using, I use T9 and outline the hairline a little bit. And then I'm coming in with T7 to kind of blend it out. And then I come in with T6 to um, finish it off. And I know these are, I got a lot of comp uh, comments last video saying use a darker color, you'll have more contrast. And yes, absolutely. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to have a, several of these videos, so I'm just kind of really playing around. Um, some people don't want the contrast, some do. So, um, you know, we'll just have a variety of different options for everyone. So I colored everything in T7 and I come back in T9 just to add a little bit of a darker contrast. <laughs> um, I didn't want too much with this since this was a darker skin. I was coloring with this girl. I did not want to make it too dark where you couldn't no longer see the eyes. Um, as I was playing around, I kind of, uh, on a couple of them, I went too dark and then it lost some of the details in the face. So. Here, I originally kind of wanted just a gray, a dark gray hair, and that's basically what it is because, um, you know, brown, blonde, red, you usually see those, but I thought gray would be kind of fun. So here I am trying to do that. Um, it came out darker than I really wanted to, but I still like the outcome. So I mean, I used BG7 for the little ringlets. And then I'm right now I, I did BG6 and then here I am coming with BG4 my lightest and I do go back and forth with the color of the hair to get it to where I like it. Um, I thought the darker areas were too dark. There was too much of a contrast for my personal taste. I mean, I'm usually the hardest on myself, so you may like this look, go for it, but I wanted just a little bit less contrast. So here I come back with the BG6 to kind of darken up those lines. And then BG7 to even darken up the maybe some shadowing behind the flowers, underneath her head, behind her neck, and then come back in with BG7. Well, no, I'm still on BG7. Um, <laughs> come back in with BG4 and kind of blend all that out. Sorry for my pausing. I was watching a show. <laughs> I tend to watch things while I'm coloring or crafting, so I was getting distracted. So I, I, I did this for a while. I did speed this video up because it was originally 15 minutes long and um, speeding up twice the speed, you still get the gist of what I'm doing. Like I said, this is not a technique video. Um, I'm still practicing with my technique. It's just more of a color combination. So um, I sped it up since I'm not teaching you a technique. So here I'm taking BT9 and I'm doing the flowers and the dress. And that was BT9. Sorry, I had the cap in my hand the whole time. And then I come back with IB3 blend out those little dark areas of the BT9. 
and then I come in with IB2. And after IB2, I come in with IB1, and I did not like that at all. So I ended up, I used it for a small spot and then came back with IB2 to finish it off. I didn't like IB1. It was too light, and it wasn't really blending as I wanted it to. So here I am, IB2, and I just finish off the dress and flowers. And then I do come back with BT9. So I did leave IB1 on the sheet if you want to use that. If you're a little bit better working with your markers, then absolutely. Um, but I, I went ahead and decided against it. And then I come back with BT9 to darken up those dark areas. And then that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, I do add a white jelly roll pen to the whites of her eyes to make them a little bit brighter. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, if you are a pro with alcohol, just leave us some tips. But um, otherwise, I hope beginners found some inspiration on some different color combos that they can use. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.